Teresa Giudis explains why she was suckered by Joe and Melissa Gorga. I kept my mouth shut for years, she says. Teresa Giudis is speaking out about her family's long-running feud with her brother Joe Gorga and sister-in-law Melissa Gorga. As Real Housewives of New Jersey fans are aware, the trio's relationship has had its ups and downs over the 11 years they've been on the show together. But things came to a head this summer when Joe and Melissa notably skipped Teresa's wedding to Luis Luyeruelas. Teresa, 50, tells people that the drama is nothing new, as she was allegedly ambushed by the couple when they officially joined RHONJ in season 3. It's been very difficult for me to enjoy being on TV since my family joined the show, she says. I'm just getting my feet wet, having fun, and then bam. With my family appearing on the show behind my back, I get knocked down, really stabbed in the heart. Teresa, who has been on RHONJ since its inception in 2009, explains, The reason I still talk about it now, even after 10 years, is because it was very traumatic. She goes on, I never agreed to appear on a TV show with my family. This was my specialty. It piqued my interest. It was something new for me, and it felt like my job, and I was excited, until my family bombarded and ambushed me. And it was very sad because I felt as if my dream had been shattered. I would never have sucker punched them like that because I don't roll like that, she says. I would never have gone on there and hurt them the way they hurt me if they were on a show. That's not my thing. That is not my personality. If anything, I'd have my own thing because I'm always that way. I'm always looking for ways to stand out. While some of the tension between the three stemmed from Teresa and her ex-husband Joe Giudice's legal problems years ago, more recent drama revolved around Teresa and husband Louis Louis Ruela's treatment of Joe and Melissa, both 43. Joe and Teresa got into an argument during the RHONJ season 12 reunion in May after Teresa referred to her younger brother as a bitch boy and dismissed him as a housewife. The argument between the two siblings became so heated that Joe walked off stage, threatening to quit the Bravo franchise. Teresa later claimed she had apologized and made amends with her brother, but that was only the beginning of their feud. The Gorga's absence from Teresa and Louis's wedding was confirmed by people in early August. According to two sources, Melissa and Joe decided not to attend the ceremony two days before because false rumors about their marriage surfaced during filming. Teresa and Louis's actions at the time had an impact on the Gorga's decision. Teresa betrayed them in an unforgivable way, one source said. They're not going to celebrate Teresa's new marriage while she's tearing theirs apart. Joe and Melissa have since spoken out on their podcast about their decision to skip the wedding, with Melissa calling it unfortunate and Joe admitting it was one of the hardest days of my life. It was terrible, he added. But wait a minute, let's get back to the reunion. You know what she did. This was entirely her fault. This was her true desire. She didn't want there, she didn't want any of my children there, and she barely wanted me. Teresa stands firm in her decision to cut ties with her brother and sister-in-law, no matter how difficult it has been. I come from a small family that was very close, and then for something like this to happen was really difficult for me to deal with, she says. I always tried to keep the peace and that's why I kept my mouth shut for a lot of years because my parents, they lived for me and my brother. For anything bad to happen afterwards, it's heartbreaking. Nobody wants to see their children fight. But, unfortunately, my parents are no longer here, she says. So I'm going to do what's good for my family, good for me, good for my children. And all I want is peace. And that's why I have to keep any toxicity out. I'm not going to accept it. She also knows she'll never leave RHONJ, even if it means working closely with Joe and Melissa right now. I would never leave. I began the show. I'll never give it to anyone because I'm the one who started the show she claims. Others are attempting to publicize this, such as, oh, Teresa wants to leave. It's insane to me how people are attempting to sow the seed that Teresa wishes to leave the show. The games that people play. No, this is something I started. I'm not going anywhere until Bravo tells me to.